Trucks are big, they're powerful, and they can hold a ton of shrimp. But rarely are you like, dang dude, that is one fast truck. Well today you're in for a bit of a treat and I'm not talking about shrimp. Today we're looking at some of the fastest trucks of all time. So hose out your tubs and strap on your real tree seat covers. This is the D-D-D-D-D-D-D-U-S. Big thank you to our friends at Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. There's no doubt you've heard me talk about Manscaped and potentially um, other bodily things. And you know what? I'm not even embarrassed anymore because I genuinely like my Manscaped products. They sent me the brand spanking new Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof cordless trimmer. And honestly, this thing is rad. The new Lawnmower 4.0 has advanced ceramic blades with skin safe technology, helping reduce nicks and cuts. And even better, it now has a wireless charging system with a battery that lasts up to 90 minutes on a single charge. <laughs> That's a lot of trimming. And lastly, the Lawnmower 4.0 now allows you to customize your preferred hair length with four trimmer guard options. So whether you're going for the full Bruce Willis or I don't know, Michael B. Jordan, the Lawnmower 4.0 has options for you. So when you're ready to take care of your family jewels, head on over to manscaped.com slash donut to get 20% off plus free international shipping. All right, enough bush babble for today. Back to the video. Now this isn't a definitive list of every single pickup truck, okay? That video would be a million hours long. We made this list to show you guys how bonkers trucks have become. But first, we gotta know where we came from, all right? So we're gonna go back to the 70s, to the grand papa fast trucks, the Dodge Low Red Express. We've talked about this truck on this show a few times before, and for good reason. It's the first fast production truck ever made, and it was all thanks to a regulation loophole during the oil embargo in the late 1970s. At the time of its release, the Little Red Express was not only the fastest truck around, it was the fastest production vehicle, period. And it's zero to six time of 7.9 seconds is still pretty fast for a truck this big. It would be another 11 years until another truck challenged the Little Red Express. As Omar from The Wire said, we come for the king best not miss. And then he whistled, which I would do, but I don't know how to whistle. Chevy did not miss with the 1994 SS. This performance variant of the C1500 half ton truck had a massive 7.4 liter V8 that made 255 hertz per, had Bilstein shocks and a front stabilizer bar for improved handling, and it could scoot from zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds. Now, just a few years after Chevy debutted their first performance truck, the Blue Oval came out with their own high performance truck, the Lightning. Yeah! Besides having a 5.8 liter V8 that made 240 horsepower, the Lightning also handled pretty good for a truck from the 90s, and it maintained the same payload capacity as the F-150, making it not only fast, but useful as well. And this boy went from zero to 60 in an astonishing record Tying 7.1 seconds. It's fast. It's about as fast as trucks could go back then. <laughs> but there is another truck from the 90s that was way faster and far less practical. I'm talking about the GMC Cyclone with an S. It debuted in 1991 and is probably the least functional truck on this list. It had a payload capacity of 500 pounds and the ability to tow maybe one hot dog cart, but it didn't matter because it was faster than a Lamborghini Machine Diablo and it only had half as many cylinders, six of them. The Lamborghini Machine Diablo had 12. So just how fast was the Cyclone with an S? Well, it depends on who you ask, but four out of five dentists agree that the Cyclone with an S hits zero to 60 in 8.3 seconds. There it goes, straight to the top of the mono list. For now, fast forward 10 years. It's the 2000s now, baby. We survived Y2K and we see another wave of fast trucks begin to emerge. Chevy's contribution to this era of fast trucks is the Silverado SS, which stands for, as we all know, seriously sassy. A six liter high output Vortec engine can make 345 horsepower and get this sassy little stud up to 60 in 6.4. 
So not as fast as the Cyclone with an S, but pretty fast. The Silverado wasn't the fastest Chevy pickup of the 2000s. Max threatened to sue me if I didn't include this next one. Max, stop it. Even when I kept saying, Max, this is not a truck. It's a blobby ute. He sicked his team of top-notch lawyers on me and I caved. I can't afford it anymore, Max. Anyway. The Chevy SSR was an abomination of a vehicle that came out at a time when every manufacturer was making plastically retro looking things. And while it's definitely not as functional or normal as a Silverado, it is faster and it did come in purple. So in 2005, you could get an SSR with an LS2 under the hood, which gives you a zero to 60 time of 5.5 seconds. Probably the most iconic fast truck from this era and possibly ever is the second coming of the Ford SVT Lightning. Yeah! This time around, SVT dropped a supercharged 5.4 liter V8 in a good for 360 horsepower, a huge upgrade over the previous gen. This performance truck also looked fast with a lowered stance and a sweet body kit with flared sides, just like my pants. Now this boy was quick. He went zero to 60 in 5.2. <laughs> Also, I'm trying to, I'm starting to see a trend, so I'm just gonna save myself some time, make a little gap. The Lightning only held fastest truck of the 2000s for a couple of years before a bigger, badder competitor came along. One with as many cylinders as shrimp have legs. Talking about the Dodge SRT10. It came out of nowhere in 2004. Dodge went full Dodge and threw the V10 from the Viper into their redesigned Ram pickup. Not only did it have 500 hersperers, Dodge also did a really cool thing and put a six speed manual transmission in it. It also came with front and rear spoilers and racing stripes, cause duh. Even though it weighed over 357 stone, the SRT10 could scoot to zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds. Still not as fast as a Cyclone with an S, but it was a, an actual truck and not a cheater boy. And in case you didn't figure it out, shrimp have 10 legs. Max Googled it. Just a year after this monstrosity, Dodge would be beaten by a different company in their own truck. Talking about the Hennessy Venom 800 TT Cert 10. You might know Hennessy as the Texas based tuning company that makes fast cars even faster. I made it up to speed on it. Check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But Hennessy also f with chucks. In 2005, they took the SRT 10 and slapped two spinning boys on the V10. The turb skis bump power up to 800, which helped this 5,400 pound beast get up to 60 in. So close, 4.4 seconds. And I know some of you guys are at home or at work right now, probably on the toilet, and you're saying, James, <laughs> Hennessy is an aftermarket company. Uh, I thought you were just doing production trucks. Well, uh, guess what? Hennessy builds brand new vehicles that can, you can buy with a 36,000 mile warranty. And that's why we're including them on the list. Speaking of big spoilers, you're gonna see more Hennessy on this list than the notorious B.I.G.'s birthday party. Apparently the algorithm is really favoring likes right now. So if you could help me out and hit the like button, uh, it'll get this video in front of more people. That means more views. That means more videos for you guys. And with that, we're jumping into 2010. Angry Birds was sweeping the nation. Snooky was becoming a household name and Ford was about to kick off a new era of fast trucks with, you guessed it, SVT Raptor. This truck was supposed to be the third gen Lightning until Ford decided to switch gears and design it for off-road racing. This is the new definition of badass fast truck. How fast was it? It went zero to 60 in 6.2. Even though this was Ford's flagship high performance truck, it didn't take long for other trucks to catch up. Just a year after the Raptor debuted, the Ford F-150 EcoBoost set an even faster zero to 60 time of six seconds. Now I know a lot of V8 dudes like to hate on the EcoBoost, but you can't argue with facts, all right? Facts don't care about your feelings. You need to do zero to 60 times. In fact, right now, the EcoBoost V6 is the only engine you can even get in a Raptor. Then, Chevy released the Silverado High Country. This wasn't even marketed 
as a fast truck. It's a luxury truck. It's got a freaking heated leather steering wheel. This bad boy is even supposed to go fast. 0 60, 5.7. And because every truck is fast now, I'm just gonna rattle through them. 2015 Dodge 1500 RT Hemi. This is a 400 horsepower rear wheel drive only sport truck that came with 22 inch wheels. Put down a zero to 60 time of 5.4 seconds. Toyota Tundra supercharged TRD. 4.4 seconds. That's a whole second faster than the Dodge, but still slower than the Cyclone with an S. Made more than 20 years later. But the Cyclone's days at the top were numbered, just like my list. And that's because the Ford Raptor got faster. But my boy John Hennessy decided it still wasn't fast enough, so he upgraded its DNA like a Jurassic Park scientist, and he gave us the Velociraptor. In 2016, the Velociraptor 650 was a supercharged version of the F-150 that went zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds. It's not bad, but still not good enough. So in 2017, Hennessy gave us the Velociraptor 600 Twin Turbo. This was based on the second gen EcoBoost Raptor and managed to squeak past the Cyclone, finally, with a 4.2 second zero to 60. Boom, sorry Cyclone with an S. Go back to the 90s where Clarissa is still explaining it all. But that ain't all, because in 2019, the Velociraptor V8 replaced the EcoBoost V6 with a supercharged V8, good for a zero to 60 time of four. 0.1 seconds. Then, Hen Hen dropped the Venom 775, a Coyote V8 F-150 with a 2.9 liter supercharger bolted onto it. The weight saved by not having the four wheel drive system from the Raptor means that this thing can scoot from zero to 60 in four seconds flat. Barely edging out the Hennessy F-150 is the Roush Nightmare, a truck so badass they couldn't even spell nightmare right. This souped up F-150 also has a supercharged Coyote V8, hitting 60 in 3.9 seconds. Guys, we're running out of room on the monolist. You know what else hits 60 in 3.9 seconds? The Ram TRX. They're calling this thing the Raptor Killer and for good reason. It's got freaking Hellcat in it. I drove one. It's pretty fast, very big car. Speaking of Hellcat, maybe you're a Hellcat boy, but the Ram ain't your style. Get yourself a Hennessy Maximus 1000, a Hellcat powered Jeep Gladiator that goes zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. What's that? You still wanna go faster? What's wrong with you? Okay, fine. I got something for you over here. It's called the Hennessy Venom 800. If you're a math boy, you might have noticed that Venom 800 is bigger than Venom 775. That's because it has a bigger supercharger and can do zero to 60 in a totally unnecessary 3.6 seconds. But guess what? Shelby decided to throw their cowboy hat into the ring with this, the 770 horsepower F-150 Super Snake. It goes zero to 60 <laughs> in 3.45 seconds. Cause why not? Also, it looks freaking sick. <laughs> but there's one more truck, even faster than the Super Snake. But I wanna take a second to talk about electric pickup trucks because they are coming. And they're gonna be faster than anything else on this list. I'm talking the Hummer EV, the Rivian R1T, the Tesla Cybertruck, all have claimed zero to 60 times of around three seconds flat, which is insane. But as of right now, in 2021, can't actually buy any of those trucks. So I'm just gonna make them honorable mentions. They're not gonna go on the list. And with that out of the way, let's talk about the current fastest pickup truck that you can buy today. I'm talking about the 2021 Hennessy Mammoth 1000. It's a Ram TRX with 1,012 horsepower and 969 nice, nice. foot pounds of torque. And if the power wasn't enough, Hennessy lifts the already lifted truck an additional 2.5 inches, you know, because you want to be as far from the ground as possible when you're driving that fast. Goes zero to 60.
in 3.2 seconds. That's as fast as a McLaren F1, but it's a freaking truck. I truly think that this is the pinnacle of modern gas powered production trucks. There is no way a manufacturer is gonna beat this until they do. Listen, I love being proved wrong. So we'll see what insanely quick trucks come out in 2022. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video to let us know that we're doing a good job. Follow me on Instagram at James Pumphrey and Twitter. Check out this other episode of The D-List. Thank you. I love you. Shrimp.